So inspecting your Cheerson CX-10 when you first get it, it's kind of important to do. These little $20 Chinese cheapo toys are a lot of fun to play with. They do take a beating, but they are assembled fast and probably in a factory with minimal quality control. So when you get them, you might get some defective ones, especially if you order a big batch. I've ordered about seven or eight of these things because the flight time is about four minutes and got a lot of people to train up and have some fun flying, so we want to fly for a little bit. Some of them had dead motors upon arrival, and one thing I noticed when I started looking is while it's still in its package, you can see right where you're looking when their motors attached to the plastic, and it's just plastic above and below the board, and the motor kind of sits in this little seat between it. And this can cause problems with the wiring or if the motor's just bad in general. So if you look, you can see how well it's seated before you fly, and you might be able to fix it up a little bit better before you take off. Here's one of them still in a package. This one's pretty decent. I'm going to rotate this pedestal here. That way you can see a different example of another one in a box coming. Right here, it's not so good. It's separated. It's a little misshapen. You can kind of take it apart, maybe adjust it a little bit. It's always good to test right before you do that too, to make sure it's all four motors are working. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Just test the motors before I even take it out. As simple as turning it on. So all those motors look good and should be ready to fly. Just give it a full charge. At least what I always do. Some of them, I have crashed these green ones a lot. And they do take a beating. And you can see the red wire sticking out of here. And, you know, if you hit it hard off something, you may break that wire. I had to resolder one of them already. It wasn't too bad. But you can tell they've... Uh, they can take a pretty good beating. This one here is pretty banged up. Flew this green one a lot outside. And in fact, here I'll scoot it over. If you look above the off switch, there's some solder leaking out where I had to retouch the motor back onto the board. It was just a little too big of a clump. I filed it down a little bit, but it still worked. And it was good. This, was, this one here has been flown a lot and has taken some many hits. The corners are pretty banged up. And it does sound a little rough in the flight, but it's a good idea to inspect. You can see some solder coming out there, too. Uh, a good idea to inspect these upon coming out. So if you look at these blades, they get pretty chopped up. So that's one example. Pull another one in here. It's good to take a look around to see. This one's seated pretty nicely. This one still flies well and it sounds good. There's ones that sound rough. Here you can pinch it down maybe a little bit and check. But you just want to do a visual inspection. Because if something goes wrong, it's usually a wire or the solder joint might have broke or it's cold. You know, these little motors here. So if you're also beginning, it's a good idea to grab one of these baskets. You put the, one of these baskets on, it's going to help you a lot protect the device itself. You can bump it, flip it, get it caught in shelves. You do all kinds of stuff in the props, usually they're pretty good. And so you get used to flying. You just turn it around, look, inspect. This one's pretty solid. 